In today's show, we have Mrs. Payne's retirement. And an improv stand-up. And I'm tracking some changes to our weather on the way. We'll have the details coming up in your full forecast. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. No, we don't. I'm Maiden. And I'm Carson. And you're watching SVTV. The Seaman Players will be holding a special show for the freshmen during seminar tomorrow. Allie went and got some more information. Hey, Bikes. I'm here with Junior and Zach to talk about the improv show tomorrow. So what is it? Um, basically, it's going to be a player show for the freshmen only. Freshman only show, we go on stage, try to make people laugh, please laugh, and uh, have a good time, embarrass ourselves on stage. Okay, when is it? It's tomorrow, Friday, uh, April 19th, um, during seminar. And where is it? I'm guessing that it's on stage. I'm pretty, hopefully, it's on stage. Awesome. Freshmen, make sure and go if you're interested. Now back to your anchors. Wow, I wish I could be a freshman to see that show all over again. The North Snook will be open during fifth hour lunches on Wednesday next week. Come see an absolutely true story, the case of Alex Hansen, April 18th through the 20th at 7 p.m. Tickets will be sealed at the door for $5. If you're a senior and don't have a government class, contact Cameron Turner and Jordan Riggles to get your senior thank you done. Tomorrow is the last chance for seniors to apply for the OFG scholarship. See the counselor's webpage for more information. The Interact Car Show will be held in the South parking lot on Saturday next week from 1 to 3 p.m. Please see Mrs. Collins or Mrs. Miller for a registration form. Any student interested in joining the Writing Center staff next year must fill out an application. All applications must be returned to Mrs. Sands in W6 on May 1st. If you love Latin music, join Mrs. Martinez for the annual Latin Dance Workshop this Friday during seminar. Sign up is outside of W20. If you haven't heard already, Mrs. Payne will be retiring this year. McKenna went and found out more. At the end of the school year, Ms. Payne is retiring, so we went to learn more about her. I'm known for falling down, but I got caught up in a brace, backstage brace, that are like this to hold up the wall flats, and I couldn't get on a, out of it, and so me and the brace were moving, and the flat was moving back and forth, and I was getting madder and madder and madder as it happened, so it looked like we were dancing. Ms. Payne has been teaching at Seaman for the past 20 years. Relationships that are made from director to student actor or teacher to student actor, um, I, will, I will miss that. She has over 40 years of experience in theater performance and directing. I specifically remember her telling me how, uh, what an awesome job I did in the fall play my freshman year. It gave me a lot of confidence to continue acting. My favorite memory of D.Va is probably, uh, I believe it was my sophomore year in our uh, improv players class that we have. And when it got to me, Diva just kind of said all these things she noticed about me and how well I was doing and said stuff about me that I thought just kind of went unnoticed. She first started directing at Hayden High School before she came to Seaman. She taught me basically uh, almost all that I know about theater. She has taught me close to everything I now know about theater, about uh, performing on stage. Miss Payne is involved with many different things, including the Seaman players. I'm going to miss how much she cares about all of her students. What I'll miss about her most is probably how much you can tell she cares about her students, every one of them. Make sure you say goodbye to Miss Payne before she retires this year. Make sure to congratulate her on retiring. Now, over to Aiden with the sports. If you're planning to enroll in driver's ed this summer, Enrollment is this month only and costs $175. You must be at least 14 years old and a Seaman High School student. You do not need your learning permit to join. Classes will start on June 3rd and last three weeks. To register for Driver's Ed, go to the Seaman webpage and click on Driver's Ed. Cost is $175. If you have questions, see Mr. Tinsley. See you there, Vikes. Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar, according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? 
When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead, while Jason would rather lay in bed. Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. Auxiliary trials will be held April 27th, 9 to 12. Pick up and drop off completed trial packets at W12. For more information, email Ms. Hurd. Boys JV Tennis has a home meet today at 4. Come support your Vikes. Girls JV Softball beat Topeka High, but then took a hard loss to Topeka West, ending their day 1-1. One and, one. and Girls Swim took a win yesterday at Bonner Springs. Congrats, Vikes. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. It was an active day of severe weather across the plains yesterday, but here at the Baylor Airport, only five hundredths of an inch of rain fell with that severe activity staying mostly to our southeast. There was a tornado warning in our in the National Weather Service of Topeka County warning area. A couple of final clouds reported from that, and overall, there were over 100 severe weather reports from yesterday. Most of those coming in the form of large hail and damaging winds. Some hailstones were up over golf ball size. So yes, it was an eventful day yesterday. Now today, severe weather threat is virtually none, but we are tracking the chance for a couple isolated showers or thunderstorms later this afternoon. It's going to stay pretty hit and miss, so we don't expect that everyone's going to get in on the rain. But if they do, they could enhance the winds just a little bit. Overall, though, Winds will be gusty out of the north today, anywhere from 20 to 35 miles per hour. So that will add maybe a little bit of chill to the air with that slightly cooler weather for today. And then looking ahead into next week, we're looking at an active weather pattern. A low pressure system is going to stall out just east of the Rockies, and that's going to provide several chances for showers and thunderstorms into the week ahead. But right now, this chance for severe weather looks to remain pretty low. So we'll keep an eye on that and keep you updated here throughout the next several days. Checking out the seven day forecast, you can see a warm weekend is ahead with highs in the mid 70s. Enjoy the sunshine today and tomorrow because clouds return on Sunday and it looks like some active weather is headed our way Sunday night through at least next Wednesday. Now, Aiden Carson, back to you. Well, that's all we have for today, Vikes. See you back here next time. Thank <music> you.